Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome to those who are new to my channel. I'm Adele Levine, intuitive and medium. And on cue is my cat deciding to scratch extra loud for you guys. Um, <laughs> this has become a running joke on my channel. Um, totally swear, totally swear she decides that she wants to be heard and seen. So she is definitely heard. Okay, so I want to jump into the subject at hand, what are higher beings? I had a vote on what I should cover. I wanted you guys to partake in what do you need from me at this time? Now, as much as I know we don't want to just focus, focus on, you know, what is going on in the world, like meaning like a hyper focus. At the same time, I'm trying to create a balance between spirituality and what is mundane and what is going on in the world. And that's why on my Instagram, I'm trying to post things that are informative that you can actually use in real life. However, there is the spiritual aspect, of course, and that's what I'm about. And I want to inform and educate and help you understand how you can utilize that. So, so I've done a lot of stuff on this channel about spirits and how to communicate with spirits and signs, but what more do we need? We need big enforcement, reinforcement, I should say. Okay. What are higher beings? That's what I should begin with. To me, higher beings are not higher, like above, like hierarchy. They're not better than they aren't like, these are the better ones. These are the more famous ones. <laughs> these are the more important ones. They're the most knowledgeable, evolved, filled with a lot of experience on this dimension and others. Going to sip some green tea. Cold, kind of watered down green tea. Okay, that is what they are about. So what it falls into that category to me is angels, archangels, and ascended masters, which I did a video on. And ascended masters and is in the same category. These are about experience, energies that have been around in this realm and the next. They are more equipped to deal with what I feel we're experiencing, which is almost this feeling of a spiritual warfare. They are also more equipped to kind of help you utilize and understand protection around you and lift your energy and knowledge, understanding that's beyond what the spirit world can give you. The spirit world are people who died, you guys, right? I don't mean to say it like this, but they're people. They are people that are not in a physical body form anymore. So they can utilize information because there is no time and there is no space. So they can see things in the future, present and past, but they don't always understand the bigger, higher, not higher, the bigger picture of what you're needing to learn and what we're going through. More experience, which is a better word than saying higher being, more evolved, more equipped beings are, okay? Archangels. Archangels, and I'm, these are going to be little cliff notes, and yes, I can do a whole video on each one of these, and I did one already on Ascended Masters. Archangels <laughs> are your cats. Arch <laughs> she speaks. Archangels are angels that are not here to kind of help, you know, protect you on the day-to-day. -day. Archangels, to me, is a frequency and it's an energy. That frequency and energy is trying to rise up and be warriors. They are trying to battle on a much, let's just say, for lack of a better word, global scale. But I would like to say, which would be a much better term, universal scale. Their job is to battle and combat things that are unseen to you. It's an energy, but you feel it, right? If there's like this dark cloud coming among you, if you get that feeling, that kind of sick feeling inside you that something isn't right, archangels are helping with the spiritual battle and even your own inner spiritual battle that you may be going through. So how do you communicate with them? I'm going to say it in the way that I say, <clears throat> excuse me, um, spirit, you talk to them. I know it doesn't sound very like <laughs> How do I say? It doesn't sound like very like, here's your instructions, but I will explain. Okay. 
when you're going through a time like this and you're feeling unsure about things and you're feeling scared and everything's feeling like you have no control those energies are the ones you call upon you call upon them in the way and I'm not getting into deity so I know we're gonna have comments below of what about deities and I'll, this is I'm not getting into deities deities are symbolism of certain energies I'm getting in more into a different realm okay I'm gonna try and explain as best I can however can they cross pollinate meaning can it feel like what you're calling a deity I can be calling Saint Michael absolutely yeah for sure because it's a frequency it is a frequency that is coming from a powerful place what term you put on it what name you put on it how you dress it you can it's up to you what your belief is I'm kind of more trying to get you guys to communicate on the energy to the energy to the frequency so when you're communicating to these type of beings they're gonna come in with a much bigger bang you know they're gonna come in with this feeling of something overwhelming you something coming to a strong force a spirits gonna come in much more you know hey how you doing flicker some lights you know maybe I'm gonna do a little bit show off of move something make you feel loved make you feel like get thoughts into your head of missing me but beings that are like this they are not about niceties so kind of think of it like that think of it the difference between when you go to a social event and everybody's kind of chatting and talking and you're getting to know different people and the difference between that and someone who comes in like a bigger than life type of person who you can tell is just like been around the block and kind of almost like a protector a warrior and they're like I'm not here to be nice about it. I'm here to say listen if you if you want me to help you, you need to listen not just that but they also want you to ask what you can do to help them oh yeah I said that what you can do to help them in other words not only is it for you to call upon those energies and say I need help I need guidance I need protection <clears throat> I need to feel like I don't not so afraid I need to feel like something is around me um, <clears throat> sorry about that allergies I need to feel like something's around me but they also want you to say what can I do in return what am I being called upon all of us by the way I have a service to provide on this earth it is your time to look inside your soul and see what is your service what do you need to rise up what have you been sitting on for so long that you can do a service for all because whatever happens whatever you're giving we are all benefiting it is an exchange so that realm is very big on it's time to rise up to move past your fears to move past yourself only thinking of yourself because those higher beings they're not about that so let me get an example they're not the beings you call upon when you've lost your keys or when you're saying oh I just need to know if this person's gonna call me back no no they are the beings that are saying if you're just doing something only for yourself and that is it and you're not doing something to help us who are battling then that's not our job it's not a put down it's not saying that you can't call into other types of, of beings that are more like I said maybe your day-to-day -day, maybe kind of like the spirit realm maybe there's even deities that you feel that but these more experienced beings are feeling like they're kind of battling the borders around us right meaning like pr protecting and also kind of going at war with things that are trying to crush and and hurt for just for the sake of hurting they are doing things like this and so when you're coming like well me and me and I just want me now I'm not saying that you shouldn't ask for what you want and all those things are true but what I'm saying when it comes to a time like this which is supposed to be a wake-up an awakening for awakening for everyone at this time it's time to say listen I understand there's something in the air I can feel it something is shifting something heavy is coming and not only do I want to be a part of helping you 
but I also need this help back. Meaning, not only do I want to understand what do I need to do to be a part of this shift to think of the other person, but I also need to know I'm going to be okay. Okay, it's almost inner exchange. Does that make sense? I hope this makes sense. So for instance, if you are in this place where you're having anxiety and you're having fear, which I'm sure I can, you know, safely say we all are, you can call upon these higher beings. Now I'm starting with Archangel, Archangels, like Archangel Michael or Raphael, whichever you're drawn to. And you could say, listen, I need to know, I need to reassurance, but better believe it that they're going to say, of course, of course. But what are you also doing to move past your fear? Not just for, you know, I'm not talking about just sending stuff out and, you know, writing checks, but what are you doing to improve yourself? What are you doing to wake up and, you know, not limit yourself anymore? Believe it or not, they are talking about it as well. What have you put on the back burner for yourself? Look inside your soul and remember who you are. Now, other type of higher beings to me, you know, more kind of go into the, the extraterrestrial. Mm hmm. I said it. ETs, alien type of beings. Yes, they are. And many, many times, and some people may argue that what you're perceiving as an archangel or an angel, or even a deity, some people believe, are similar to this. But I'm just going to go ahead. I don't think it's any secret. If you've checked out my channel and if you haven't seen these type of videos, I absolutely do believe in interdimensional beings. And I do believe these are higher conscious beings. We can get into a whole thing over what kind and what's their name and all this and are there bad ones or good ones. But the ones I'm talking about are evolved, obviously, and are a beings that are trying to bring en enlightenment and consciousness. Now, the reason why I'm putting titles on it is because sometimes people just feel comfortable with these titles. But like I said, feel free to call it what you may, what works for you. But it's the energy. So how you communicate with them is the same. You telepathically, or you can say it out loud, or you can write it. There is no right or wrong, but you are, have to be willing to connect and you have to be willing to hear and you have to be willing to kind of move past the fear and that is how once they start once you start getting a feeling from those realms that there's something coming your way and it will feel kind of much more powerful than your average you know spirit paranormal feeling it will feel like an overwhelming wash over you but believe me if you allow yourself to connect to these connect to these type of beings I'm telling you, it won't only just soothe you, which is I know what people want, but it will empower you because this is a sword to pick up. This is time to rise. This is time to evolve. It is time to try to move past fear and try to move past just self and to see a world behind a world. It is time. And these higher beings can help you, not only help you see what is going on for yourself, but the bigger picture. That is what they are about, the bigger picture, okay? So this is what I would suggest as a baby steps, as a way to begin. We have plenty of time, <laughs> so take some time, whether it's in your room, in your shower, in your bath, whatever, your bed, and just allow yourself to throw it out there. And you can label it a name, you can label it an archangel, you can label it um, an ET, whatever. However, I will say that there is a difference when people get into the whole things of angels. Angels, what people predict as angels, not predict, what people feel are angels, I feel kind of almost can be similar to fairies. They're like these, these energies that are kind of trying to help a lot of the mundane. So here's what I'm going to say that might help to wrap it up. Fairies and, and angels, when people talk about guardian angels, I'm not a big believer. You have two, you have five. I mean, who can really tell you? Really, if I'm going to sit here and tell you like, you have 10, you have four, how do I really know how many you have? Because there's an inner exchange going on all the time. There is a nice little team of effort 
those type of energies to me are more helping on the mundane level. But to, so to explain the difference and these more evolved and more experienced beings are helping with the big picture. You understand? So I hope this made sense to you. I did my best to make this make sense. I want you to not feel alone. I want you to f understand that there is all kinds of different help. I'm trying to cover it. I love to interact with you guys on my community. I don't know if people are seeing it, but I love for you guys to tell me what subjects you would want me to cover. I'll just keep doing polls <laughs> because I know at this time there may be certain things people need help. Those of you who are coming to my medium gallery, it's sold out. I'm doing a medium gallery this weekend. Don't forget if you signed up to show up because if you're not there, I can't read you. These are when I do short little readings. Some, be some people want to know if I'm going to do them again. I probably will. And also some more classes, of course. I go on live on here. I'm trying to go on at least once a week and I'm trying to go on Instagram once a week live. I post a lot of stuff on my Instagram. Check me out there. And um, last thing, my 50% off my readings are still available. Unlimited amount of time. All you need to do is put the code in peace, adalevine.com. Thank you guys so much. Listen to yourself. Listen to yourself. Follow your inner compass. Don't follow other people. And I'll see you soon.